Hey everybody, welcome back to the 1994 Tune-Up Community Project. Mm, got it again. Alright, so today we are going to be playing Map 5. So let's just go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, Wadnator. Let's use this to make our lives just a little bit simpler. So Map 05, BCS1. Oh yeah, we played this one uh, fairly recently. So yeah, it's a Map 1. We're going to be just revisiting this. We'll see how it goes. This one's for originally for Doom 2, which is, um, I think, a first for the series to date. So um, let's go ahead and just revisit this one, shall we? There's a lot of brown. I remember that much. But it starts you off with a super shotgun, which means that, um, yeah, I am okay with it. Yeah, and this one, there's like that little slime pit in the middle with the red key. A lot of chain gun snipers and stuff like that. Kind of a... Uh, Guys on the bottom keep absorbing my SSG shots. Oh, well, that one just... There you go. Welcome back. Alright, let's take care of the hit scanners first, and then we'll worry about the imps. Uh, oh, I see you down there. Alright, we'll just switch back to the SSG. There's plenty of ammo. I think the uh, first time I played through this, I went to the upper area first. Let's uh, change it up a little bit, shall we? Yeah, we'll just grab that one up. There we go. Did I? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, hello. <laughs> just hit switches randomly. That 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 seems like a good idea. Now there was I I think uh, the tune-up project also includes BCS three, which I was told is probably the uh, I think that someone mentioned it was the best one in the series. Unfortunately, we missed out on that one because the D-Zone CD that, uh, another SSG, weird, but the D-Zone CD that I was, uh, that these were on only included 1, 2, 4, and 5, which is kind of an odd choice, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't, a, it was, wasn't from above. It was over here. That's right. I kind of just flanked these bastards. Alright, so let's go ahead and just take care of these secrets, because I would love some armor. And I have it now. Brilliant. And uh, let's go over that way and pick up those secrets. Really curious to see what the, uh, the remake of this is going to look like. See if it's going to be a uh, tune-up, kind of in line with... Oh yeah, that's right. See if it's going to be a tune-up in line with uh, the last one we played. The HHH. Or if it's going to be kind of a conceptual remake, like pretty much all the other ones. Only one way to find out. This thing I kind of like about this so far is like, it's been, the tune-up project's been kind of exceeding my expectations. Or not, ex well, I don't know. Well, it has been, yeah. They've been solid remakes, but um, one of the things I like about it is it's been kind of subverting my expectations. There we go, that was the word I was looking for. Because, uh, ooh, he was fighting me for control over that door, apparently. I forgot about you. Uh, yeah, that's right. Run, coward. Ooh, actually, that's pretty ideal. Oh, shit. That's not. <gasps> oh, fuck, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Oh, my God, that couldn't have been... Ah. <sighs> Nothing like having a pants shitting moment on a 1994 wad or 95, something like something like that. Yeah, words. They're escaping me because I saw my life flash before my eyes. It's brilliant. <sighs> God, Archviles are so good at building up combat stress. Anyway, 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 anyway. Yeah. So far, it's been one of those things where oh, wasn't there another switch up there? I don't remember. Yeah, there is. But yes, there's, uh... It's hard to tell exactly what to expect, because we've kind of seen both approaches, right? So we've had, uh... Maps where they were just essentially... Taking just, like, one or two set pieces, and then basing the rest of it on the text file. Then we have, uh, HHH21, which is more or less just like a, uh... 
a shot for shot remake or point for point remake of the original. So I'm really, which that's how I thought the project was originally going to be, as I've mentioned. So now I'm kind of curious to see what this one's going to be, because honestly, this is a pretty solid level just in and of itself. So I could really see... I think the ladder strategy would probably work better for this one, personally. But we'll see. I mean, all these BCS maps are pretty solid. Uh, I seem to remember some of them hiding keys behind secrets and doing things like that, which seems to be a pretty popular 94 trope. So maybe stuff like that would end up getting kind of polished out. I don't think this map does. I think it was the uh, the later entries that started kind of pulling stuff like that. Ow. Yeah, this one's a, a bit um, TNT-like when it comes to the hit scanner placement. There's a lot of hit scanners and not a super high amount of health. Right, so now we're back over here with the kill count maxed out. And I believe the exit door is actually back at the beginning. You just basically do an about face from where you start the map, and that's where it is. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I need to get the yellow key, which is in that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is the case. However, we need to go... I think... Yeah, you know what? This might be a instance of this being a secret. Yep. Maybe not a, like a marked secret per se, but it's uh, definitely behind a very obscure wall. Well, somewhat obscure. I mean, it, it does lead you there, but mm, it is the same texture, which is kind of eh. Righto. I think the secrets, I think there was one actually behind this. No, that might be a later map. I was thinking of something else, apparently. All right, well, I mean, we got the general idea. Let's exit! Entryway finished, well, <laughs> BCS01 finished once again. All right, so uh, I'm trying to remember what I gave that last time. I wanna say it was something like a seven and a half. I'll have the rating below. Uh, my opinions haven't really changed. It's a solid map. Uh, I wish the yellow key was, wasn't hidden behind just a normal wall. <sighs> It's kind of frustrating when you have an otherwise good map that just has kind of nastiness like that. But, I mean, seven and a half feels about right, because it kind of seems like I would have probably given it an eight if it weren't for that. I don't know. I'll go back to my other video, and I'll just put the, uh, the rating in the description. But, uh, anyway, on to the remake. Okay. So, DSTA Doom... I should really make this a batch file, that way I don't... That way you guys don't have to... Oh my goodness. Why is it so hard to type when I'm recording? Like, I have the same issue at work whenever I'm on, like, a Zoom meeting or something like that. I just lose the ability to type, so I'm, like, trying to put in, like, SQL statements, and so I'm just like, bleh! <laughs> just, oh, man. Alright, skill 4, comp level 9. I think it's that whole, like, typing while talking thing. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That looks right. We got the comp level, we got the skill, we got the warp, we got the file name, we got the IWOD, and let's go. Oh, wait. <laughs> that wouldn't have worked. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, mm -mm -mm. I didn't tab complete enough. Here we go. Nice uh, slap bass solo. Okay. Brilliant stuff. So we got the... Uh, it's a little bit... Lighter, a little more UAC themed. This MIDI is like on drugs. I kind of like it. This is a bit more open. No SSG, which is kind of disappointing. I'm assuming we we'll probably get it maybe soon. It's really weird for them to. Oh, jeez. I gotta say, the lack of an SSG makes the opening of this a few. Yeah, it's... Why is there no SSG? Like, seriously. That was one of the best parts about the uh, original. I mean, this is a lot of hit scanners for you to deal with with a pistol and a chainsaw. 
I mean, even just like if you want, if you felt the super shotgun's a little excessive, maybe just a normal shotgun. It's like you're basically stuck with two generally unfun weapons to deal with all this, and there's a revenant in the second room. Ooh, this isn't looking good so far. This is actually looking okay. There we go. Thank goodness. Okay, all right, we're back in control. I don't know about adding a revenant to the second room, but eh, you know. At least you have a shoddy, and there's plenty of cover, so it's just tedious. It's not difficult, unless you get stuck on a wall like I kind of did briefly. All right, he's taken care of. Starting to run low on ammo now, which is great. I guess I could chainsaw these guys, not the M's, because they'll just... Well, really, anything could just bust through the chainsaw. That's why I never fucking use the thing. Especially when you consider, like how little armor I have and how much damage, like, imp fireballs and stuff can do to unarmored targets. Not to mention demon bites and scratches and ugh. It's just by it. Well, at least it's more obvious on how to get up from the slime pits of despair. Alright, let's just use the pistol. Fuck it. Hopefully we get a chain gun soon, because we got all these bullets. And the shotgun's not really going to do much at that range. Because Doom Guy decided to install, or UAC decided to install a really odd choke on the thing. Yeah, yeah, this is ass. <sighs> Alright, so you can't use the... <laughs> you can't use the weapons they gave you. Well, I mean, you can. You just have to use the shotgun because... Jeez. <sighs> Alright, well, I do have a decent number of shells. I should have just switched to this. Especially with how just radically unfair enemy melee damage is in Doom. But at least we're going to be getting armor soon. So they thankfully kept that. Oh well. Whatever. I just really underestimated how slow this lift would be. Which I guess is normal speed, but eh, you know. <laughs> when stuff like that's happening, it always feels slow. Alright, so there's no more secret areas in the, uh, toxic stuff. wonder if there's gonna be a monster thing when you grab this. Nope, no ambush. Alright. Hmm. Still no SSG. <laughs> Is that anything? Nope. That would've been cool. Alright, well... Let's go ahead and slowly take these guys out with our dwindling supplies, I guess. Technically, this isn't the right way to go. I am seeing that that's a normal door over there by the key, so that's promising. I guess the intent for this was partially to um, raise the difficulty of the map. Hence why you have to actually fight for a weapon and stuff like that. You never really know what to expect in terms of uh, difficulty, enemy placement, and, like I said, even just general intent. Oh, look, more revenants for us to shotgun. I don't understand why you take something that was originally a Doom map, add Doom 2 mid-tiers, and then reduce the number of weapons the player has access to. It just seems backwards. Like, I mean, I could understand the first arena not having a super shoddy. Maybe this one does too, and I'm just not seeing it, because I'm kind of... Because this enemy area out here is also more... Uh, more spicier. Hey, got him. Jeez. Oh, a hell knight. <sighs> I was warned that uh, the shotgun would be used extremely heavily in this, uh, in the tune-ups. Um. Okay. Ah, okay. Well, one positive, I guess, is it doesn't look like there's an arch file out there. <sighs> I probably shouldn't celebrate too soon, though. The secrets are well marked. That's good. I'm not going to complain that secret doors are too well marked, because I'll still miss them regardless. Alright, rocket launcher. That's a good step up. 
good solid replacement for uh, the super shoddy that you have to be a little more careful with. So at least we have a good way of dealing with mid tiers, and there's probably going to be a bunch when we open this thing up. So I'm assuming it's the same progression. Yeah, it is. Same scary progression that can cause you to end up getting crushed. Oh, okay, and that actually opens that door for you. Nice touch, not entirely necessary, because it is fairly obvious what you need to do, seeing as the area behind it opens up. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and just finish you off with this. Perfect. Alright. Overall, this is definitely in the latter camp. This is more, more or less just like a... Uh, a room by room remake of the original. Less of a reimagining and more of just a, uh, I don't know, quality of life increase for the most part. Uh, difficulty bump in some parts, which is, I mean, it's fine. Ow. Standards of difficulty have changed pretty dramatically from when BCS1 was made and when the uh, 94 tune up thing was. And, uh, yeah. was a little worried about that beginning area, but, I mean, standard shotgun's fine. It's a good weapon, it's just... It's not fun to deal with a lot of mid-tiers with it. Oh, okay. So the rocket launcher I got was actually just an early rocket launcher. Yeah, see, I mean, even, even then, generally speaking, most of the enemies in this are... Hmm kind of squishy, so. That's why I'm saving my rockets. It kind of seems like I'm going to have more than enough to clear this, though. Nope. Some more squirrely mid-tiers. I don't know how I missed that rocket, but I think it hit the other one. It did. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I see a Baron back there. It did give me cells. I guess I'm... I probably missed a secret plasma rifle or something. Either way, this is not going to be pleasant. That is... What the fuck? Okay. Why are you making me shotgun three barons and a hell knight? You didn't give me enough rockets to handle all this stuff. And it's probably just one of those cases where... I don't know. Maybe I'll try running ahead because I don't want to deal with that. Maybe it's one of those cases where there's just a borderline mandatory secret. Because again, this isn't difficulty, it's tedium. That's all it is. I don't think there's going to be anything. I also missed the... Oh no, I did get the yellow key. Duh. Okay, yeah, there's the plasma rifle. I guess we can go back and kill those guys. Oi. Alright. Nope, not that way. This way. That's not too bad. I don't... As long as the weapons are available, I don't mind having to double back and, uh... Kind of take care of things later. Because this is going to weaken these guys up substantially, so they'll fall down fairly quickly. A little disturbed by the fact there's still enemies left. This kind of gives me a sinking suspicion that there's going to be, like, an arch file by the entrance or something. Alright, there we go. Oh, I see a marked secret over there. That's kind of neat. It's probably like an early plasma rifle or something that I could have used, like, much sooner. Righto. Seems to kind of have a thing. Well, it's not, but it's still very useful. This map seems to have a thing where it just marks secrets with player corpses. <laughs> which is kind of funny. So let's see. Any other... Oh, yep. The shell's back there. So, right over yonder. Super shoddy. Thank goodness. Wish I'd have found this sooner, but you know what? We have four enemies to kill, and they're probably going to be like four revenants or something. So, um, or four arch files. Well, one arch file. Alright, let's let these guys get out. Oh, balls. Well, whatever. That worked. Funny, I had a feeling it was going to be like an arch file or something, you know, some other kind of upper mid-tier type of enemy. 
and yet I didn't adequately find, like, cover. Although I guess from the angle that he was shooting at, or zapping me from, oh. Well, that would have worked. <laughs> I don't think you're really supposed to go there, but that's okay. Oh, brains. Delicious. Alright, let's hit the exit. BCS01 by Masayan. Alright, well that was, um, that was a solid remake. Uh, I wish I would have found some of the secrets earlier, but even without the secrets, it was fine. Uh, I mean, because you can always just run ahead and grab something and then double back, which is something I don't do often enough, I think. <laughs> so, uh, I've been learning to do that because I've been playing a lot of maps where it just kind of gives you a pistol and says, all right, good luck, buddy. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons I kind of did that here. And it did make the experience better. Overall, like I said, solid remake, definitely a step up in difficulty, but nothing too crazy. Uh, it's a little bit less generous when it comes to starting weaponry, but it's not like unplayably mean or anything like that. Overall, just very good. Very good remake. Uh, hopefully we see more of this. Although from some of the comments I've received, it kind of seems like it's a bit more hit or miss than that. But I don't know. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.